Okay. So this this journal is the Ranger. It's the Dilutions Journal, I believe. Okay, it's by Ranger, and I believe this is the one that Dion Reevely, um, I think, developed. It has. It's really large with a nice big pocket, which I like, and it also has um, lots of. You know, the pages are pretty large. And so my first page, I just, you know, I, I took some craft paint and I just sort of scribbled it on. And this is the title page. It's not really my favorite look, but I'm going to do something on this side and I'll show you what I'm going to do. And scrabble, I just kind of scribbled some words from Japanese words and stuff in there that kind of brought back memories. And then I did some image transfers, which I will be doing also in this, some image transfers using a uh, blender pen. A chart pack blender pen and what it did is it created um it bled of course i just covered this up but it bled through the other side so i have still have a smear here so i'm gonna sh i'm gonna go ahead and kind of like what's that kind of thing happens like i probably will never do this onto this paper again because it did bleed through and even not all papers are going to um you know a lot of papers will bleed through if you use a solvent so but still there's ways to cover it up so like my first thing I'm going to show you today is, you know, if you want to take paper, if you have paper, and I'm going to take my, let my cat out. She's being a little brat. Okay, go ahead, go out, go. Go, 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 go. Okay. <laughs> okay. So what I'm going to do is because this has a little, um, like, solvent stuff on it, and a little bit leaked on this side, but it won't show as much. I'm going to take some black gesso, and this is great to do with all of you. If you have pages you want to prime, and you don't have to prime all of them, but you can prime in white gesso. Um, I like black. You can use a neutral color. You can use even clear gesso. Um, so what I like to do is I'm going to take a bristle brush, and instead of just covering the whole page, if I wanted to cover the whole page, I would use some of this deli paper, and I would put it underneath and eat in between in fact, I always like to do that anyway, just kind of put it in between the pages, just in case, um, you know, I get any uh, leakage or whatever. But in this one, you know, so now I'm just going to take the gesso. And I'm going to just instead of covering it going to all the way to the edge, I'm going to just take it just kind of sort of roughly to the outside. All right, so I'm just going to put this dry kind of in the dry as dry as I can, because I want to have a ground something I can use um so this slick paper isn't going to let me do much on it you you know except to just write on it and so you if you have whatever papers you have if you have like a, a calendar that you're going to use or an old cookbook like that would be a great one for a cookbook journal it's using an old betty crocker cookbook or something and then you can just journal inside it but i'm just going to cover this and i want to go i just want that rough edge kind of so that's why i I just kind of let it, I just go to the side, to the edges, but I don't, and I'm just going to go like this, scumble it to the, to the edge right here. So I have like a rough, sort of like a deckled, painted deckled edge, I guess. I don't know exactly what to call it, but it just gives me a border, kind of gives me a container to put my journal pay, uh, content in. And so, and it doesn't have to be perfect. I like it kind of like rough, like it's sort of hand painted gives a little you know, different it gives a nice look so i'm just putting this on and i love gesso because it is a good ground i'm just going to move this around this is a large journal to be doing this when my camera is kind of close so hoping i'm going to be able to get be able to show you everything so here we go i've got my little page here we go nice and dry don't don't go too heavy so this is a good way just to prime your papers and you can always do as you know each of your uh, journal pages as you decide what you want to do on it you can decide if you're going to prime the page or you're going to leave it blank or you're going to paint it with a pretty color it's all up to you but i've got two a nice big spread here and i join the inside here i'm going to let that dry and while i'm doing that i'm gonna, just going to kind of sit this aside and when i'm doing that i'm going to prepare some um, photos or I'm going to make some little elements that I'm going to lay onto this spread, or I might lay onto another spread. I'll see which what I've got going here, because I've got a few things I want to show you today. I'm just going to set this aside so it can dry. And what I want to talk about is some pockets. Like 
different ways to contain your photos. Let's say you've got some photos that you don't really want to glue on the back. And uh, this is three, me and two friends um, sitting having dinner and have got, I've got uh, karaoke, me and some friends doing the karaoke. And here we are practicing warming up. It's kind of fun. I had, a, I had so much fun doing karaoke in Japan and I'll tell you why. So um, I also wanted to show you how to make some pockets that you may want to have tabs to slide. So I'm gonna grab that pocket, wherever it is. I know it's somewhere, okay. So yeah, I've got this example and I've got this kind of example. And just for pockets, for things, so that if you want to mount the, the paint, the uh, photo without damaging it, or like in this one, I have um, put a tab on it so that when I glue it onto the page, I have notes and I'll be able to, be able to read it. I'll be able to open it up and read the um, notes or who, you know, what's going on, who the people were, and like in this one, it says, everybody that was there, we were doing karaoke. And after a glass of sake, we got pretty brave. <laughs> and that's kind of what, you know, everybody was just having a good time singing. And we thought we were the Supremes, I think. But I made a little um, tab. So I'm going to show you how I did that. And then I also made an envelope that you can pull out with a little scoop. So you can just pull out because this is a map. And I didn't want to tear. I didn't want to ruin the map because it's an actual map of Kyoto. I thought that would be fun and maybe i'll take in the map i might just mark the places i've been and that's going to be fun i'll do that at another time with a uh, pen now a lot of photos have glossy finishes as you can see here and i have found this pen right here it's called the perma writer this pen that's made in japan um, this pen will write on glossy photos so you know if you want to um, you can actually write on the photo if you want which is amazing and it doesn't it actually will not harm the photo at all and you can do that on any of your photos if you wanted to write on the photo if you don't want to write on the photo that's okay if you want to write on the little plastic sleeves you can write on those as well so you know you can um, They'll go on plastic, they'll go on everything. So that just, you know, just to tell you that these, this is a nice pen to have and it comes in three different widths. So it's kind of like a, it's like a micron, but a little bit more solid base. So it doesn't see, it doesn't smear at all. So that's a little trick there. Now I've got my paper cutter. I've got some stuff. I just want to show you that each step, each one. So if you know, there's a little place called clear bags and they make all the, they make these little sleeves like you know, like these, um, they come, you know, you can buy them in packs, I believe in packs of 25 or in hundreds if you want. Um, they, and if you, you can get them to be sized just for your photos if you want. If you want to, to make your own, um, your own envelope, I use tracing paper or vellum actually, and I'm able to make my own and size it to whatever I want. So I'm going to show you, like, here's the pack of the clear bags these are four by a little bit bigger than a normal four by six photo and so those are kind of handy you can just take your get one take one out and then you can take the photo and uh, let's see this one here this one's a little bit different it's a different photo because it's from japan so they have a different sizes but so that's probably a little bit too big but it's not a bad i can you know, or I can do this with other art, like watercolors or sketches, or I think in this one I can put, I could fit some of the postcards, like I found a, a fun little postcard of, this was from, I don't know what that was, but I can write uh, journal notes in this one, and then this should fit this one pretty well. So basically, find envelopes that are going to fit your pictures, or make your own envelopes. So the first thing is I'm going to take, I'm going to show you how I did the vellum one first, just to get that, yeah, the vellum one first. And I'm going to grab a piece of tracing paper, or a vellum, and this is the vellum that I like using. It's Canson Vitalon vellum. It's really nice. It's it's heavy enough. Um, it's not like tracing paper, because tracing paper can just be a little bit too flimsy. But then I like it because you can see through it, you know, it's nice translucent. It doesn't, you know, you can still see the image if you're looking if you have a picture that you want to 
put in, you can still see it underneath. And I think it's really softens the look a little bit. It's real pretty. Um, so I'm going to make a, actually, I think I might do it with this one. We'll find a, something. Let's see. What can I find? I've got to find a picture that I'm going to make an envelope for. But it doesn't matter what kind, but like, here's a, this is a postcard that I bought in somewhere in the, it says the Yoshihara Gay Quarter. So I guess that was the, <laughs> somewhere in Japan. And then this one is uh, in one of the temples. Now, what we visited, I visited a lot of temples there. So I'm going to take this and I have, I can do a temple page, which I can grab some, my, some pictures from my temple images that I photographed. But if I want to do an envelope just to um, slide, you know, to make a journal uh, page here or just to, to uh, make an envelope, I'm going to take this and I'm going to fold this envelope. I'm going to fold it the page over just a little bit like this. So I've got one side done. I'm going to fold the other side and I want to leave a little room so I can slide it in and out. So I'm just going to give it a little, just like an eighth of an inch of room. And I've figured out the um, width of my envelope. So now I'm going to take my handy paper cutter. And I'm going to figure out the width or the size of this postcard. And if I take it, a little postcard here is, I look at it here, that's a, just about, not, it's about five and three quarters is about what it is. So I'm going to take this piece of paper that I, cut so that I, um, I'm going to do five and three quarters, except I'm going to go a little bit bigger. I'm going to go like uh, seven. So I have some room to make the uh, rest of it. I'm going to trim that off. And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to cut off a lot of this because I don't want to, I need to cut most of this off. I'm going to just maybe cut, cut to about right there. So I'm going to make a little pinch so that I know where I'm cutting. And really these little envelopes, you can use envelope templates if you want, you can use, you know, but if you don't have an envelope temp template, here's, this is what I did. So now I've got this part, and now I've got this part here. Now I'm going to not do anything yet. I'm just showing you the, here's the, I'm just making sure that it's lined up. Now if I want to, I can kind of give it a little, I could fold it a little bit more over just to give it a little tight, make it a little tighter so that it slides in a little bit better, like that. So now I have a little bit of room, not much, but I have a little bit of room, and I'm going to bring this one up to the very edge. I've got this going to the very edge, and I'm going to take this, and I'm going to fold this up to hold it, just to fold it up so that I have a uh, ending point. So it's kind of like a pocket already, but I'm going to clean that up a little bit. So you can see I can slide this in and out. Not easily. I'll show you what I'll do next. So well, what I'm going to do next, now that I've got the sizing just right, and I don't think you can see that very well. I'm going to put a journal down so you can see <laughs> there. <laughs> so now what I have is I'm going to open this up, and I'm going to cut off these little, these sections, these two sections here. I'm going to cut this one. right off and then i'm going to cut this one at an angle just a little bit of an angle so you can see i'm just doing that right there i'm going to cut this just at this very slight angle and then i have to cut this off right there so what i have now is a an envelope so i can now and this is the back nobody's going to see it it doesn't matter so now what I can do is use double stick tape. If you have double stick tape, um, whatever you've got, if you want to just tape it, nobody's going to see it. That is not going to be seen. If I want to tape it with just plain scotch tape, which I don't have any right now. <laughs> I don't know why, but I don't. So I'm going to just double stick tape in a couple of places. Well, it really doesn't matter. This is going to be my little pocket. You could glue it if you want. I'm just going to do it in a couple places. So I know you know here right there this is not going to be seen this part here so now i have a pocket now what i need to do next which i really should have done before i taped it together <laughs> is i need to make a um, cut 
right at the base. Yep, I should have done it before I put it together. Um, but you're, I'm going to cut a half circle if I can get it in there. Oh, there we go. I'm going to cut a half circle right at the top of my envelope. Okay, it's just a little, like not the, the top of the pocket. I'm just going to cut a little circle. And this is a place so I can grab that postcard. So I just cut it out with that. If you don't have a circle punch, you can just use a pair of scissors and make a little V cut. And so now what I have is I'm going to get a, a brighter one so you can see. So now what I have is a nice little pocket that I can insert my uh, insert my card in. And really what's nice is now, and this is really better when you're traveling, you can actually document everything on your postcards that you buy. And I'm going to just put here, this is the Tokyo Tower. Um, uh, Tokyo, you know, I could write my notes. And then I'm going to do more. I'll, I'll think about more what I'm going to say. Has uh, has a really big elevator. And I remember just the elevator going up to the center is really, it's amazing how tall it is. So was, I'm going to write notes and then I'm going to put that in like this. And then I'm going to use double stick tape and I'll show you where I'll do that in a minute. But this is one of the envelopes that's sliding pocket. You know, one where you have a uh, basically a uh, pocket that you can slide your uh, photos or your anything, anything you want out. And then you still have the beautiful thing on top. You can also draw on top. You can do fun little uh, things on that as well. And the next one, I'm going to set that aside and show you that in a minute. The next one is taking uh, photos. So here's a little photo, or let's see, I'm going to grab this one. To put a little tab on your photo. So you've got like a sleeve. This is this just the photo. We got a little crazy here. We're, you see, we're really going at it. We thought we, I think we were singing a Supreme song, I think. So this one needs, what I'm going to do is I can see that the photo is about the right, it's about the same size. I'm going to get rid of a little bit smaller, but I'm going to get rid of this um, top part, this liner thing. I don't really want that. I'm just going to get rid of it. And I'm going to put it so that I don't cut the photo off. But I'm going to make it so that the photo's still inside it. So I'm just sliding, slicing that off, getting rid of that. And now I've got a sleeve. But now it's going to be hard to move it in and out. So, you know, it's not going to be fun trying to get that in and out to, to see what's on the back. So I'm going to make a little tab. And I'm going to do it with just a little piece of paper. I'm going to take a piece of paper about, oh, I'm not going to make it very big. I could have used a square punch, you know, in fact, I'm going to do that. I'm going to be more precise, but you can use what it do however you want it. You can, if you have punches, that's great. Um, you can use a square punch. You could use a oval punch. Which I'll show you in a second how you can do how that would look too. And if I wanted to use a round punch, that's a little small, but at least you'll give you the idea. These can make great little tabs for your photos. So I'm going to do, this is a, I'm going to fold this in half and I'm making sure that it yeah, lines up here. If I want to do the, this one, I could do this one in half and it would make it a little slightly different tab. It'd be smaller, but it would still work. So you can still do it, but I kind of, I think that one's nice. So this one, I'm just going to take some double stick tape. Um, if you have glue, a glue stick would be fine too, but I'm just going to do a little double stick tape on this end, only on the back. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to place it on the back of my, I'm going to let, let a little bit out though. So it's got, a, uh, let's see how much room I want, about that much room, right there, about a half an inch outside. And now I'm going to take some double stick tape and I'm going to close it. I could use some adhesive too, but it's just a little harder to stick photos. So there, I've, now I've got a tab to pull, but I also want to decorate it a little bit. So I found some fun little Japanese washi tape, which, you know, you can use anything, but I like the Japanese washi tape. I think it's pretty. I'm just going to put it along the side of my photo. Kind of covers up the one lady a little bit, but looks like I, I still know she's there. And then to make it nice on both sides, I'm just going to do the tape. And this tape is, it can be removed. 
So it really doesn't harm the photo surface. Um, and I'm not going to worry about it, but if you were worried about the something being archival, this washi tape will not ruin this photo and it won't, you know, you can remove it and it shouldn't, it shouldn't hurt the emulsion at all. So there I've got a very fun little thing. Um, I'm going to journal on the back of this. I'm going to, um, I'm going to write some, a story about that, about that memory. And then once I've done that, well, I could do it at any time actually. So I probably won't write it today, but um, I will write it. And now I have a tab to pull out. And if I wanted, I can add a little something else to it, but right now I'll just stick with that. And I could even do, uh, like maybe add the little, you know, this on the top. And there's all different ways you can embellish these. Um, so this is, so I'm going to show you the page that that I'm going to do using these. Okay, so th these two, which have the little tabs. And then if you um, want to, if you just say you have a smaller envelope. And here's the same thing. This is from the same night. Yeah, this is from the same night. And I have a little story about that. <laughs> It's going to be interesting. So I'm going to trim this one down. I kind of st I started trimming it down a little bit, but I have a smaller bag. I'm going to take off some of that. I'm going to take off a little bit of the picture right here. I don't want to cover up too much because this the table tells a little bit of the story as well. I don't want to cut off too much. There it is. Maybe a little off the top, but not cutting off the host's head. But there, I've got a nice little framed little snippet. And then I'm going to take take it and see how it, once it goes in there, I've got a little yeah now I'm going to cut that extra stuff off. And I'm just going to put my put it in there like this and yeah, that. slice off that adhesive part now I have a really cool pocket and again i'm going to make a tab except this one's going to be a different paper. I like, I've got these origami, kind of like origami inspired papers. You can use origami paper, any kind of paper you want to make these uh, fun tabs. I think this one's going to, I like the red, so I'm going to stick with the red. And I have that little square punch. I'm going to go ahead and use that. But really, just having, have fun making little bits and pieces that you wouldn't normally think of um, to, in, to, as ways to show off your images. And then to you also can, what I like about it is you can write memories like, who are these people? I need to find, I, I could have written it when I got the camera or got the photos back, but in retrospect, that's what I would do. But now I have to just do with what's happening now. So I'm going to take my little tape. I'm going to attach it to the photo or not to the photo, to the paper. And I'm going to just line up my photo. I'm going to give it a little, about half an inch right here. Then I'm going to just do another piece. I really didn't want to harm the photo. Oops, I'm covering up her head. <laughs> Whoops, I need to fix that. So I'm going to, I don't want to cover up her head. So I'm going to make a bigger tab like this. And I'm just going to, because she's important into this story. So I'm just going to see, I'm going to slide that right there. And I don't want to cut her top, cut her head. All right, there. Whoops. <laughs> I wasn't planning. I shouldn't have cut all that top off. That's all right. It's going to do it. It's really not. I mean, this is the only photo. I don't have prints or anything. So I've got to just, just if I want to do this photo, yeah, I don't want to cut her head off. So I'm just going to slide that down a little more, a little more. And then now I'll use, I won't be able to use a, a much of that washi tape. Um, what I might do is... Just take a little of this thin tape, no, oh, this black tape, and I, I'm going to go ahead and just, she might get a little cut off. Oopsie. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, <laughs> that's actually kind of funny. Since I don't remember her name, I wouldn't do this normally, but anyway, I'll just, you can kind of see her face in there. I know that's not very nice, but I just try to show you, show you the technique, I guess, and then I'll explain why I covered her face later. <laughs> I have to find out her name anyway. She was the host, the wife of one of the um, of the owners of the company that we visited. So that is that. 
Now I can make it neater and prettier, which I'm going to. I'm kind of being fussy back here. So I'm going to use my washi tape and I'm going to cover up that jagged edge. And now I have a place to journal right in here. And it still is fun. It's still fun. So I'm going to stick this in the pocket. And now I'm going to lay out the page. So I've got three photographs that I think are fun. Now I'm going to take my journal page, or let's hopefully this is dry. And I'm not sure where I'm going to put this yet. This might be here, and it might be in another place. Um, yeah, I think it is going to be here. This is a nice place to put these. Now, I'm going to go ahead and think about where I want to put these. So this one's over here. I think these are, this is the sequence. And the reason I'll have to tell you why it's a sequence. <laughs> Whoops. I can zoom this out. I'm going to try to zoom this out a little bit. This may little fancy thing. I don't know if I can, but I'm going to try. I might be able to. Oh, it's not. There we go. Okay. So a little more space there so you can see everything. So this spread, I've got this one. This is when, you know, we got started. The story, there's a story about the drinks below. <laughs> the host is serving more than I needed. And all of a sudden, um, well, I'm not a karaoke person, but all of a sudden I'm on stage and then then it gets kind of wild and kind of crazy. So um, this, these now, what I'm going to do is I like this layout here on this side and I might put something else over here, but we will see. But what I'm going to do now is just take double stick tape and I'm going to, oh, what would be really fun is to maybe take a piece of paper and Oh, I know. We're gonna. I'm gonna do a piece of paper that goes maybe about right there. Cut a piece of paper. That's gonna be in this location here, right here. So then I've got these, and I can write in a white pen some other things. So the double stick tape is I'm gonna take the double stick tape, stick it on the back of my pocket, right here. And it's just that's all I need to really hold it. And I'm going to put it in the place that I want to. Let's see, right. Don't want it perfectly straight. I'm going to kind of make it a little off. Now I have my, I can take my, um, you can see I can slide out my, um, my paint or my, uh, oopsie. Let me get it out of there. There we go. Yeah. Slide it out. And I can do a little uh, pocket here if I wanted to create a little indentation. That's fine. But anyway, this comes out and I can, recall things you know just I can I can write the journal or write the story in there and if I wanted to make a back a backing for this so that the tape doesn't show it would be kind of fun to do a backing like have it laying on a on a layer so I'm going to do that let's show you I'm just going to grab a piece of paper I'm going to cut it a little larger than this I'm just going to go ahead Cut it just a little bit larger. So this size, I'm going to measure it to be, it is, it's five by three and a half. So it's a normal, like three and a half by five. So I'm going to make this piece six, six inches by four and four, maybe four and a half. Let's see. What, I'll try four and a half. See how that looks. So I'm just going to take that six by four and a half. I'm going to put that right there. And yeah, I think that would look really cool there. So I'm going to just take it and I'm going to use some yes paste. I'm going to tell you about yes paste. Yes paste is a really great paste for journals because it is archival. It's um, sticks flat. It doesn't really um, it's good for papers. I don't know about the photos as much, but you can use it dry out of the out of the um, tub it's really sticky stuff but it's really nice and i'm going to use this little flat brush it's kind of a um, it's a brush that's that's great for applying glues and gel mediums and things like that it's called a impasto brush i'm going to take my the back of my paper and i'm going to spread that paste on and i'm not using any water at all this time and sometimes i do with uh with yes paste sometimes i do add water just to make it easier to spread, but I don't want water to wrinkle the page at all. So I'm just gonna 
do it dry and just take my time and get the all the paper, all the glue onto the very edge because I don't want any of this sticking up later. And then this stuff is real. Like I said, cat baby wipes close by. It's very sticky, but it is washable. It is soluble in water. So if, you know, you need to, it's, that's what makes it archival. It is reversible. If it gets wet, it can, it will dissolve. I'm pretty sure. I know that for sure about Nori paste. Sometimes I forget on the yes, but I'm just going to put this one at a little bit of an angle as well. So it's not perfectly straight on my um, surface here. And I'm just going to go ahead and get that burnished down. So now that that's on, and it should wait for it to dry, but I'm not, I'm going to show you the next step because it's dry on top. So, and you just want, you know, if you're using Yes Paste, you can leave the jar open for longer than normal glues, but, you know, try to get, seal that up. So here's my, there we go. So this is the one I want to put on. I'm going to take the double stick tape, and I'm going to, Turn it over, and I've already journaled that side. And you could do it a little bit neater on the back so that it, because it does show when you pull off the um, when you pull out when you pull out the photo, you will see the tape with it, since it's clear. But I'm going to just put it right on top, kind of line it up over that a little bit, I'm trying to line up not the photo. I'm trying to line up the pockets so that it's straight. But the rest, it doesn't matter. It might dangle around in there. So now it's in there. It's on, it's mounted. And what I love about this is now that looks better um, than the plain background because I'm not, I don't see the tape at all. So that's, you know, this, this, you can see the tape, <laughs> but I can fix that if I want. I'm just not gonna do that right now. So there's that. And now I can take a pen, like my white pens. Uh, I've got like, um, you know, these types, any white pen, opaque pen, I can write some notes on there. And on this one, I think that's not what that one was. Okay, so this one I'm going to do the same thing. I'll make a, a little background. And I'm just going to show one more little pocket idea. And then, or let's see if I can find it. We're going to do the whole karaoke night here. Yeah, okay. Um, this is just, I'm going to just write probably in lar large words, I'm going to write karaoke night. Now, this person, I'm Sorry, but I'm going to cut one person out. Didn't mean to do that, but I'll put it off. So I'll save the little element. Um, it's not necessary. You know, I can cut photos apart. It's fine. And this one I think would be really cute over here because there is a story. And I'll probably do in this one, I may just do little photo corners. Now, I like these photo corners to just, if you wanted to do this, I like them, especially when you've done a black you know, you've got a black background, it's really nice. I don't really like the black photo corners on a light color, but it really works pretty well. But I'm not going to do that today. I'm going to stick with the pocket theme. And I have those little tiny uh, envelopes somewhere um, in my stash here. Let me just grab that in there. So this size, I love this size. Um, these are from clearbags.com. These are ATC size, and if we ever are going to do ATCs um, to trade or something down the road, this size is great. It's two and five eighths by three and three sixteenths. Those are awesome, and I love them for like putting little bits of folded things and um, just fun stuff. So I'm going to take. I've got it cut to that size. I don't know how I figured that out. That was a that was pure luck, and I'm going to cut the edge off of that same. And do the same thing on this cut that little edge off and then i'm going to use use this to make the pocket again uh, this time i think it'd be fun to do a little different like um oh i don't know maybe something a little different and try something different maybe a folded thing because it's you know an origami company that we visited <laughs> something um instead of the same old thing what i might do is take that square Cut it out. You can just use a paper cutter. But instead of doing it, um, I might do a folded edge this way. No, no, no. Let's see. What was I going to do? I'm going to fold it in half this way. I'm going to do a little origami somehow. And I'm going to take 
the corner folds. I'm gonna fold these in. We'll just see. This is just something I'm practicing. I'm just playing right now. <laughs> so I'm gonna. I've got this little fold, and now I'm going to. Maybe this may work. It may not. It's always something to try. When you're cutting the pictures, like I think I just cut that off a little too much on the top, just give yourself room for, um, you know, it could look like a hat. <laughs> there we go. So I just kind of created this little fold thing. I have no idea. I think I could just fold, put it anything. I can fold things and then just stick it on there, but that's not really going to work like I thought it was. But that can make photo corners too. Just so you know, I just made a photo, photo corner. <laughs> which we can do, oh yeah, photo corners. So we could make our own. Anyway, I'm not gonna do that right now. <laughs> I'm gonna leave that alone. I'm gonna just try something else. I'm gonna make another tab, kind of, this time I'm gonna make it a little bit longer. I'm just gonna cut it out with scissors. And I'm just gonna fold this in half so it's a little longer. And then maybe I can shape it instead of being a big, um, you know, I could, instead of a big rectangle, I could make it into any shape. I mean, whatever I want, but it, I'll just go ahead and make it a rectangle. But I could cut it into a, any shape. So I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to um, put this on with my double stick tape. So basically it's going to, you know, less than, a, I want to take less than an hour to do a complete layout. Putting this on the back. And then I don't want to cut my head off, so I'm just going to go right to there. Yeah, it probably doesn't matter if I cut the head off, but there's that. And let's see, it needs to be readjusted just a little. These are really great ways, so you don't, if you don't want to damage your photo, if you don't want to go through the trouble of doing image transfers, we will be doing that in, in our journal, uh, journal journey. We're going to be doing lots of image transfers and things like that with photos and scans and there's lots of things we're going to do with this but um, let's just play for now very simple very simple simple ways to um, embellish now i'm going to cut my head off here so what i'm going to do is try something different i'm going to go above the head and i'm just going to take that let's just see what we can do i'm going to cut this little washi tape right there next to the photo right next to the tab, I mean, and I'm going to fold it down. So it kind of works. It's going to work like as a tab. There we go, folding it down on both sides. So now I've got my tab. I like this. I think that's cool. Now I can just cut that off right here. And now I've got a thinner ribbon. I think that works. And if I wanted to make it bigger on the back, just to reinforce the back, which I think I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to just take a little piece here and just put it on right. I'm going to go all the way up to the top. Why, why not? And then what I can do is trim that off. And then I have it nice and secure. And it looks, it doesn't cut the photo off. So I could have done that with the other one. I wouldn't have cut that lady's head off. <laughs> so here I've got my little pocket. And if you want to make these out of vellum, or any kind of paper, you can make them out of any any paper and then decorate the paper. And that again, I would mount uh, mount on with uh, some yes paste and same with this. And then I can just write a, a title maybe and put karaoke night up here. And then just, you know, but I'll, I'll shoot a photo of the finished page with all the journaling. And I'll share that when I upload the video. So I'm hoping that is inspires you to do something um, with your journals and in your pages. And we will stop recording now. And